Hey there peoples, just want to give you a quick tutorial showing how to set up a web server here on uh, DigitalOcean's uh, droplets and I'm going to set up a uh, Ubuntu 14 system so without further ado, let's get into it <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and create a droplet I already, um, <laughs> already got a uh, domain name called instephosting.com and you want to make sure that you have the DNS settings that point to the digital ocean and uh, you want to set it up with at least one gigabyte of memory otherwise the program won't work go down, we'll just select one of these and it's already here at the 14 and we're just going to go ahead and create a droplet <coughs> excuse me I got a little bit of a cold, so please bear along with me. All right, so when we go over to the DNS settings, I'll just kind of give you a brief overview. I already had things set up uh, prior, but if you're setting it up for the first time, you're going to need to do this as well. So this is what you're going to need for the A and the C name and so forth. And then whatever IP address is going to be set up or given to us is what we're going to use over here. All right, so that should be pretty much set up by now. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and copy. And I'm going to paste that up in here. And then enter. And enter. Alright. So we're not going to bother with the security measures right now. Um, I'm just giving the tutorial on how to set up the iRed Mail. And what you would do to begin with is just download the program that they have. And then after you download it to your own personal computer, you can follow the instructions here. <clears throat> now we've already kind of skipped over the first couple steps here. But if you want to give that warm, fuzzy feeling, you can always type in hostname uh, F to find out if it matches up with what you got. And because most of the people out there use Linux, or I mean use uh, Windows, I'm going to be using PuTTY and FileZilla. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and type in that right there. Open. And... Uh, with DigitalOcean, I'm sure they've already sent out an email that contains the password for the new user here. Oh. Interesting. Try it one more time. Alright, connect once. And then we're going to log in as root. Change this password to something we can remember a little bit easier. Uh oh. And that's what happens when you go too fast. Try it one more time. Okay, so we're all set up there. All right, so we could also go into FileZilla just to kind of go to the next step here. And we're going to go ahead and go to a new site. Paste 422 and hit connect. And this will be the password we just created. Okay. And you're going to see that uh, where we had downloaded is going to usually be in downloads. It should be right there. If not, wherever you had saved it to, you'll be able to scroll to that section. 
and you're just going to go ahead and drag it on over. And as you see, there it is. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and minimize that. And we'll go up into hooding. So we're going to do sudo apt get install zip 2 Alright. We're already in the root section there, so all we have to do is just do this tar thing. I'm going to unpack it. So tar xjf I read mail 0 0.9.0 at least for this version, whatever version that you may be downloading. Enter. And now we're going to have to go into cd root I read mail 0 0.9 oops 0 0.0 bash I read mail sh and voila and now it's setting it up And one of the things I like about iRedMail is that it's not too, I mean, it's a graph, graph, graphical user interface. Just hit yes here. Um, but it's, it doesn't install other stuff that you really don't need, you know. So it's not like a cPanel or I, uh, a, web, a webmin type panel type thing. Um, I think it's pretty cool. All right, so we're going to hit uh, next or enter. You can, you know, use whatever you want. If you, usually, it's, you can just follow the instructions that they have here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and close this out. So enter. Hit the space bar. And for whatever reason, I have a bad connection here. Enter. And then over here, you're going to put in the domain name that you have pointing over here. So in stephosting.com. Nope, don't put the .com. Just in stephosting. Enter. And then put a password in. So I'll just put password for now. Password. <clears throat> and first virtual domain name. We'll just put mail for now. And a password. It's going to install all those things, which is fine. Enter. Yes. <coughs> and I'm using the Ubuntu 14 desktop to do all this right now. If you like that little doc on the bottom, it's called Cairo doc. Um, you just go into the Ubuntu Software Center, type in Cairo, download it, and there you go. I think it's pretty cool. If you want this thing to hide on the left, you can just go into the system settings, appearance, behavior, and then you just adjust it accordingly and make sure that it's on. DigitalOcean is fairly good for learning purposes. Um, I'd start off with Amazon, you know, when it comes to their um, EC2 type stuff, uh, just for the fact of cost, and it's it's like a dollar for a year type thing. If you've already used that up, then, you know, the next one up, in my opinion, would be DigitalOcean. If you want something a little bit more secure, uh, you could do Linode or Rackspace, uh, but those are more costly. <clears throat> and 
interesting. I think that happened because it was already uh, installed previously with the same type thing, so I just pushed the down button, which got things going again. gonna hit yes yes it's gonna install all this lovely stuff depending on the time of day the clam AV update could take a little bit longer than this And congratulations, you have officially set it up inside your system. All right, so to be able to access it, um, we're going to have to reboot it. So you might want to take a screenshot or write this information down here. And then we're going to go ahead and reboot. Sudo reboot. <clears throat> and as it goes down, we can open up a browser. And just type in the domain name if you want. It'll take a little bit so we'll allow it to do its thing. Okay, it took a little bit longer than I expected, but it's all good. So anyway, once it uh, reloads, it will pop up with this message here. Uh, and you just click I understand the risks because it's a self-assigning type of thing. Um, it's no big deal because it's you know our system. And this is where you would start. So you can put postmaster at mail dot whatever you put in. Uh, password. Voila, there you'd be able to log into that email. Now for the admin, which is really where we want to be, you type in you know your domain name slash I read admin and you type in the same thing again, postmaster mail.instephosting.com password. <clears throat> and this is where you'd be able to change things around. So we're going to go ahead and add a domain. <clears throat> and seeing how in step hosting is our domain, or my domain, that's where we're going to go ahead and get things going. So in step hosting. Okay, save. And now we're going to go ahead and add a user. And this is where you would add on all the different people that you might have. So I'm just going to put in mine. You can limit it if you want in regards of how much space. Add it on, and voila, you're done. Okay, so that's pretty much been. That's it. I mean, once you're done, you're done. If you want to add in a different uh, domain, you can do that as well. This is something that um, 
hackers do when it comes to gaining access to your account so if you want to make sure that your email filtration system is set up correctly you know you could try this as well uh, so let's just go ahead and add a domain and we're gonna pretend that I work at I don't know we'll say Forbes add that in alright save changes users and we'll say I work there this will allow you to actually send an email saying that you're from Forbes um, even though you're not and once again I would not recommend doing this because it is probably very illegal to do so um, but if you do it to your own system it isn't and it will help show you if things are legit on your end <clears throat> and there you go alright so we're gonna go ahead and log in So, Stefan at instephosting.com, password, and there you go, you're all set to go. And you can set this up with uh, your, in, in your typical you know, Microsoft Office inbox if you wanted, or uh, Thunderbird and so on and so forth. And uh, there you go guys, I hope you enjoyed, hope uh, it works out well for you. And uh, one day I'll go ahead and do a, a nice little thing showing how you can secure this thing down. All right. Take care.